Podcast 4, The Enriched Model of Dementia Care. The term person-centred care is a phrase that is used frequently when we are referring to the care of people with dementia. Despite this, it can be very difficult to explain what we mean by being person-centred. And as a result, people with dementia do not always receive care that is quite as person-centred as we intend. Tom Kitwood was a psychologist who was regarded as one of the pioneers of modern dementia care thinking. He developed a framework called the Enriched Model of Dementia Care, which helps us to define person-centeredness much more clearly. In this model, a person's experience of their life in the here and now is seen as having several essential components, with a person's cognitive abilities or neurological impairment due to dementia having equal importance to the other elements of the person, rather than being the most significant part. Kit would express this model as an equation. D equals NI plus H plus B plus P plus SP. You can find much more detailed information about this equation in section two of the Reconnect manual. But to break it down, in this equation, D equates to the person with dementia and the remaining elements denote the components that combine to make up the whole person. NI or neurological impairment, in other words, damage to the brain caused by dementia, plus H, physical or mental health, plus B, which stands for biography or life story, plus P, personality, so the characteristics that are particular to each of us, and finally, SP, social psychology, which is simply the world we live in and the people around us. In this model, regardless of the level of impairment, we appreciate that the day-by-day or even minute-by-minute lived experience of a person with dementia is being influenced and shaped by one or more of these elements. Although understanding something of a person's cognitive difficulties is undoubtedly important, it's of equal importance that the care team understand that if something positively or negatively affects any one of the other elements, then how a person with dementia experiences life in the here and now will change. For example, imagine that a person with dementia begins to experience physical pain, perhaps a headache or sore foot. This would sit with the H part of the equation. A person's dementia may prevent them from telling anyone that they are in pain, but nonetheless their body language, facial expressions and actions and reactions towards others will still indicate that they are experiencing pain. If the care team only see the person's dementia, then they may assume that the person is displaying agitated or aggressive behaviour because of their dementia meaning that the person does not receive the treatment they require, in this example painkillers, and will remain in pain and consequently agitated. In the same way, we must appreciate elements of a person's life story in order to understand why a person with dementia may act or react in response to certain situations. For instance, a resident who appears to be unsettled during the night may in fact not be used to sleeping alone in a bedroom and may feel anxious or even frightened. Alternatively, that person may have been a shift worker who was used to sleeping through the day. This should never be regarded as difficult behaviour, merely a person who is struggling to cope with the world. The enriched model provides us with a much broader way of thinking that sees a person as more than just their dementia, enabling a person to receive complete, holistic and truly person-centred care. The whole of section two of the Reconnect manual provides more detailed information on the enriched model of care in practice and person-centred working and should be read by all staff working in Avery Care Homes.